I think the path for entrepreneurship is a tough one. I mean, you have to be willing to <laughs> to go through that. It's a long haul. Nothing comes easy, um, but the rewards are also great. A number of entrepreneurs look outrightly at profit as a motivation for doing business. Some, however, believe that one can see value in whatever they are doing and at the same time benefit others. This thinking is shared by Awel Owihanganyi, the proprietor of Young Achievers Awards, a company that supports upcoming entrepreneurs. People who get into like profit-making business, uh, so it's an alternative in the sense that people conceptualize ideas, which are mostly are social ideas, um, and these social ideas are translated into projects or activities that are sustainable and cr which also create jobs. Um, and also create, you know, the different, they also create profit actually, but the profit is reinvested back into the project. Um, so that's, the, in, that's how I understand social entrepreneurship to be. But what led Owl into starting this idea? Um, so what got me going was to, this is one of the ideas, I mean, I've done so many different things, but I was particularly recognized for one of the, my projects I started in Canada. So it was a great event, it was an award ceremony, I, very glamorous, um, and I felt very encouraged. And when I came back to Uganda, and I, I saw how other young people who were doing the same thing that I'm doing and who are in business and leadership, I also thought that this sort of initiative was necessary because I know how much it encouraged me. Over the years, he believes he has seen several dividends come his way, including recognition at various levels. What is more paramount to him, however, is the fact that he has been able to inspire many other entrepreneurs. Uh, I think in many ways, Ugandan youth uh, and Ugandans in general, we, we have to be one of the most enterprising Africans. I mean, I've traveled to different African countries, but I think the spirit of entrepreneurship in Uganda is much more stronger than I've seen it anywhere else in the world, or in Africa particularly. So it, there's already a natural drive in Uganda uh, but most importantly, I think what they need is encouragement. You know, that's the first thing. You know, when you're doing something and sometimes you, you don't know how it's going to work and you don't, you don't have the resources and you're just really trying on your own. You just need a good group of people around you to encourage you, to, to make you believe that your idea will, will, you know, will happen. So beyond this immediate circle of people, of your friends and family, I think you also need society to acknowledge and encourage you. And this is what we do with Young Achievers Awards. Mostly we encourage. The award is not for people who have achieved so much, no. It's people who sometimes are actually, maybe not yet at the achievement level, but they show signs and they show commitment for, future, for the achievement that will come. So we choose to encourage them by recognizing them. Out of this effort, Owl says he has been able to get on board more partners which have helped him grow his profile as an entrepreneur offering a service to other entrepreneurs. No, it was great. I mean, I think it's the idea of, of, of a Young Achievers Awards was not very hard to, to be appreciated uh, by the general public, by key people like the President. The President of Uganda was our first guest um, at, in 2009. So it, it wasn't very difficult to set it because the reality of the matter is that Uganda is a very young country. So you, it's the issue of young people, economic opportunity, leadership, trainings, those are important things. So we already played into what was already happening in the country. We didn't have very much resources, um, but, but we also had different support of people like the Olive Chigongo, the president of the Chamber of Commerce, who was our first patron and chairman. Um, so. It, it, we, we pulled it off somehow despite the challenges. Owl also thinks that the process of the East African common market is an opportunity for Uganda's budding entrepreneurs to venture into various businesses at a regional level. We're going into the era of integration, so we should anticipate that young Ugandans are going to want to break out in the region and sell their ideas, their products and their businesses within the region. So they're opening up of borders within ESC. I think it's going to create huge opportunities for young people to continue challenging themselves but also as a market for their products and ideas. 
and investing in this activity is capital intensive. Awell says that at the inception of Young Achievers, capital was not an issue, but the rich idea in the concept that attracted other organizational support. We didn't have it, in, where would we get it? I mean, as I, as I say, as an enterprise, you either have to have something that generates that income. So we have to talk to sponsors. I mean, we have to talk to, we, this year we had amazing sponsors like Dembe Africa. Um, Dembe Africa was our lead sponsor and they did incredible support that they gave us. Ericsson and all the other sponsors that we had. It was incredible how much they came on board. But most importantly, the support they gave us was not financial. It was more commitment of recognizing what we do as important. And then the money just comes in and facilitates. But the question of whether it was a lot or little, it's really just um, not a big so issue. The achievements he has so far posted have however not come easy. Along the way, he has had to contend with several challenges. First, to get the idea off the ground, but more so, sustain it in the marketplace. Uh, it's sustainability. I mean, how to gener continuously generate uh, resources to run the program, the, the award. But also the main challenge is, as well for owners is to design additional support for these young entrepreneurs and leaders so that we are able to you know, develop more human capacity, skill, skills capacity, uh, institutional capacity to grow their businesses, but also grow whatever they are doing to a certain level where they can move from success to significance. So I think that's our biggest challenge, the support they need. Awil also says that it takes great courage to excel in business and more so to sustain this kind of enterprise. I think the path for entrepreneurship is a tough one. I mean, you have to be willing to <laughs> to go through that it's a long haul nothing comes easy um, but the rewards are also great i mean when you're able to work on something and it works when you not your own boss so to speak but you design your schedule you pursue your passions you meet people who acknowledge what you're doing and so the rewards are so much that they build you as a person and your character um, and when you're able to make money it's even much better Looking ahead, Al says that he wants his idea to grow beyond what it is today in order to spread the Young Achievers Award message across the country. I think we need to look at how to allow how to allow this process to include the, some of the great stories of, at the bottom of you know at the, of our society, so to speak, because they don't get a voice. People in the villages, people way out of Kampala, we try as much as possible to reach out to them, but surely I, I think we have to admit that our process still does not allow the participation of those are the you know in the villages and, and and away from the urban areas we try and sometimes we get good stories out of that but i think there's a lot more effort that's required to try and reach out to those young people who are in rural you know rural areas to feel they're involved in this some people dream of success while others wake up and work hard for it i will believe this is a virtue that has brought him this far it's hard work. I've put in a lot of work. I, I work too much. I, I'm committed to what I do. I work with an army of young people and continuously when I see how much they are also committed and how much they put in for very little or sometimes nothing, for me it's an encouragement to continue even much more harder than I work. So it's really not about me. I, I'm, I'm the team leader, yes, but the team is much bigger and I draw my inspiration from them and my co even when I want to give up when things are tough so I and also how you see how other people read you are the award ceremony when you see how much people think that this award has not contributed to their lives and I that's what keeps me going I was a musician, I was doing music and things weren't working out as I expected and thereafter I had to join some institution around and studied a bit of graphic designing and all that.